Please subscribe to Camel's YouTube channel, hit the like button and smash the notification bell. They forced me to say this against my will. If you want to tame your Alexa and to make her say anything you want, anytime you want, using graphical interface and text to speech, keep watching. This video is for you. I'm Kiryu Peyanski, and if you are interested in DIY, smart home, automation, and IoT devices, please subscribe and hit the notification bell in order to get notified every time I release a new video. Today, I will show you how you can easily interact with Alexa APIs. We will play a little bit with SSML and TTS. Don't worry, no coding skills are needed. You may wonder what SSML is. It is another markup language for generation of synthetic speech. Alexa supports several SSML tags. For example, you may want to add longer pause within the speech, or you want to represent a string of digits in a different way, or maybe you want to make Alexa to whisper, just like you saw in the beginning of this video. For all these things, you can use SSML tags and I will show you how exactly in a few seconds. In order to complete this tutorial, you will need Amazon account and Alexa device. You will also need a working Node-RED installation or a Docker client. Now, let's go to my screen. So, if you already have working Node-RED, you can use it, of course. If not, follow my steps. Go to docker.com and download and install a Docker client. You should see something like this at the end when you install it. Docker desktop is running and you have to sign in. After that, go to hub.docker.com and search for node red. Both of these images will work. This is the older version. This is the newest one. I will use the latest one. And I will copy this command. Open a terminal and paste it. But before I hit enter, I should add another port here. This is needed in order to access the node proxy and I'll show you how exactly in a few minutes. I'll hit enter. My server is now running. I'll copy this and open another tab. The next thing is to add two additional plugins. The first one is dashboard. You need this one. A set of dashboard nodes for node red. Install. All these nodes are now added to my palette. After that, I'll search for Alexa Remote 2. This is the exact plugin that I need, not remote, remote 2. Now hit install, install again, close. Now these are the nodes from the Alexa plugin. If I click on Alexa routine and I go to the info tab, I will find a GitHub page of the plugin I'll open it and here on this GitHub page there is a link to examples and this is the example of, of Alexa Speak dashboard. I will copy the whole thing and go back to Node-RED, open the menu then import and paste the text here and click import. 
and this is my imported flow. As you can see, some of the nodes have a red triangle in the upper right corner. This means that they have to be configured in order to successfully deploy them. Uh, I'll have to add my Amazon account here. I'll click here. And the only thing that I will change here is this parameter. You can read the description here. Basically, the authentication will be stored in this file. I'll name it something like that. And I'll click Add. Everything else stays as it is. And I'll click Done here. Now, on the second note, I don't have to press the pencil button again. Instead, I will choose my already created account. And I'll click Done. Then I'll hit Deploy. Now, I will open this URL in another tab. I'll type my Amazon password here. And I'll sign in. This is what I want to see. Alexa cookie successfully retrieved. You can close the browser. OK. And now these nodes are ready. This means that I can open my dashboard now from here. And this is my graphical representation of Node Red. If I click on this drop down, the, the list is empty, but the, if I click refresh, all of my Amazon devices are listed. I'll click on Living Room and I'll type. Hello, people from YouTube. And it works. We can try the next example here with SSML. I'll copy this flow and import it into a new flow, just like before, and click Import. And this is my SSML flow. Red triangle means attention, so I'll Choose Alexa account here and I'll click Deploy. This flow is also ready, as you can see. Now, if I press here, I will execute this flow. If I press here, I will execute this one and so on. This template will say this text with different voices. You can hear it now. Bonjour. Good morning. Good morning. Yes. Great. This is the effects. Basically, you can control the speech using this. You can control the volume, the rate, the pitch, and you can add whispering effect to the text. You can change the text here, and you can play with different values if you wish. So let's hear this. This is louder. This is quieter. This is slow. This is fast. This is steady. This is high. This is whispering. Okay, and the last one. This will tell us the time and duration and also the date in different formats. Let's hear this. Time 8.30. Duration 12 minutes and 3 seconds. Date okay. the 28th of February 2020. Okay, great. And the last example that we can try is the Alexa Music Dashboard. I'll again copy this flow and again import it in Node Red in a new flow. Here it is. I have a lot of triangles here. And I'm going to configure them all in order to successfully deploy this flow. I will fast forward in order not to waste your time.
now everything seems to be okay deploy it ready and if i open the dashboard again i will see the previous flow but from here i can change to alexa play music i can refresh this and from here you can choose your provider unfortunately i i don't have premium account neither for spotify neither for amazon but if you do have then you can choose this and play something here your spotify account doesn't support streaming on this device probably i'll hear the same for amazon music i couldn't find any rock songs on amazon music what about tuning? I cannot play that on tuning. Hmm, tuning have to work. Let's try with the radio. Cara de 4 a 1 ainda em agosto. Como visitante, o Bruno destacou, tem a segunda pior campanha. Okay, this works. I will also show you one bonus flow. I'll drag this note, I'll configure it, but I'll change this to prompt. And from here you can choose several presets, for example, traffic. And I'll click done, and I'll also add one inject node here, and connect both nodes. I'll hit deploy, and then if I click here, Right now, traffic on your commute looks quite clear. The fastest route takes about 29 minutes via Raman Boulevard, Slivnitsa. And actually, Alexa told me the fastest route to my work. You can choose also the weather here and you can play with the other prompts. Tell a joke, sing a song, they all work. So let's try this. Let's hear. In Nomi Iska, it's 11 degrees Celsius with clear skies. Tonight's forecast calls for more of the same, with a low of 7 degrees. My question for you guys is for what do you plan to use text-to-speech and Alexa? Let me know in the comments below. Make sure you hit the subscribe, like and bell buttons if you enjoyed this video. Also, feel free to add me on Instagram, Snapchat and Twitter, I post there pretty much daily. I really hope that you managed to follow all the steps in this video and you have TTS enabled Alexa at the moment. Thank you for watching, stay safe and see you next time. Hicks.